Welcome to the American Republic, your go-to channel for the latest conservative news updates. Stay informed and please don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about Hollywood star Amanda Bynes. Early on Sunday morning, Bynes was found wandering the streets of downtown Los Angeles naked and alone. She was immediately placed on a psychiatric hold and is expected to receive care for a few days. Bynes first entered the entertainment industry at the age of seven and went on to play numerous roles as a child. She transitioned into a teenage rom-com star and was cast in several successful roles, including the 2006 hit movie, She's the Man, alongside Channing Tatum. However, Bynes began to struggle with substance abuse problems and in 2012, she was arrested for DUI. She was ultimately charged with two misdemeanor counts related to a hit and run. In 2013, Bynes was placed under a nine-year conservatorship because she was struggling with mental health issues and substance abuse problems. The court felt that she was no longer able to take care of herself. Last year, Bynes's conservatorship was officially terminated after a judge ruled it was no longer required. The judge said that she had done everything the court had asked over a long period of time, as for the most recent incident, Bynes cancelled a public appearance on Saturday where she was scheduled to reunite with the all that cast from her days with Nickelodeon. She suffered from an unknown illness and pulled out of the reunion. The following morning early on Sunday, she was found walking the streets of downtown Los Angeles naked and alone. She allegedly weighed down a driver of a car and told the person that she was coming down from a psychotic episode before 911 was called to the scene. After Bynes was taken to the police station, she was placed on a 5,150 psychiatric hold. This is a legal action from the CA Welfare and Institutions Code. A qualified officer or clinician can force someone into confinement against their will for 72 hours or longer in order to protect them from themselves. We hope that Amanda Bynes receives the care that she needs and that she can recover from this incident. Mental health is an important issue, and we encourage anyone who is struggling to seek help. That's it for today's episode of the American Republic. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more news updates.